In this presentation, you will learn about the Bombay School. The department was set up in 1919 with an eminent British sociologist and town planner, Sir Patrick Geeds, as the first professor and head. The department played a pioneering role in the promotion of social science research in general and in the development of sociology and cultural anthropology in particular. It initiated a project of mapping out independently the vast ethnographic landscape of India through systematic field studies. Professor Sir Patrick Geeds was the head of the department from 1919 to 1924. His academic endeavors spanned the disciplinary boundaries of sociology, town planning, geography, and biology. He impressed on his students the importance of fieldwork and practical experience. His work continues to inspire new generations of students, not only in sociology, but also in architecture, town planning, as well as sociology of science. Dr. G. S. Gurrier was appointed reader and head of the department in 1924. He became professor in 1934 and continued to head the department until his retirement in 1959. Dr. Gurrier's initial training was in Sanskrit and Indology. Under the influence of Sir Patrick Geeds, Gurrier pursued higher studies in anthropology under the distinguished anthropologist W. H. R. Rivers at Cambridge and later under A. C. Haddon. His attempt to combine insights from Indology with anthropological perspectives was one of the major contributions of the time. After his retirement, he was designated the first Professor Emeritus in the University of Mumbai. Some of his works have been criticized, but his contribution is inevitable. Professor Gurrier guided 55 students for the doctorate in sociology, probably the highest number for any single sociologist. He trained many eminent sociologists who contributed to building the discipline in India. Among them, mention may be made of the following. Iravati Karve and Y. B. Damle, who subsequently moved to University of Pune, M. N. Srinivas, who started the Department of Sociology at Delhi School of Economics, University of Delhi, M. S. A. Rao, who also went to Delhi School of Economics, A. R. Desai and D. Narayan, who succeeded Gurrier as heads of the department in Mumbai, M. S. Gore, who went on to head the Tata Institute of Social Sciences and later became the vice chancellor of the University of Mumbai, Suma Chitnis, who became the Vice Chancellor of SNDT Women's University, 
and Victor de Souza, who was head of the Department of Sociology at Punjab University. Professor K. M. Kapadia succeeded Professor Gurrier as head of department in 1960. Professor Kapadia will be remembered for his notable contribution to the study of kinship, family, and marriage in India. His book, Family and Marriage in India, became a classic in its genre and a reference book. Professor A. R. Desai succeeded Professor Kapadia as head of department in 1967. Professor Desai made a significant contribution to sociology through his numerous publications relating to political sociology, rural sociology, peasant struggles, and trade union movement. His books, Social Background of Indian Nationalism, Rural Sociology in India, and Peasant Struggles in India, are widely used. He was also a Marxist scholar and actively engaged with trade unions. Professor J. V. Ferreira assumed the headship of the department in 1976. Initially trained in the Department of Sociology, Professor Ferreira subsequently went to Vienna and obtained a doctorate from the University of Vienna. Professor Ferreira contributed to anthropological theory and methodology through his book, Totemism in India, 1965, and later through numerous papers and monographs. He edited the second series of the ICSSR-sponsored Survey of Research in Sociology and Social Anthropology in 1985. Ferreira also developed the model of integral anthropology. Professor Dhirendra Naren succeeded Professor Ferreira as head of department in 1982. Professor Naren completed his doctoral dissertation under the guidance of Professor G. S. Gurrier, which was later published as Hindu Character 1957. Professor A. R. Momin, distinguished cultural anthropologist, assumed the headship in 1991 after Professor D. Narain. Professor S. K. Bhomwick became the head after Professor Momin in 1999. Professor Bhomik carried out pioneering work in the areas of plantation labor, trade union movement, the issues confronting workers in the informal sector, and urban poverty. Tea plantation labor in India, street vendors and the global urban economy, and industry, labor, and society are among his major contributions. Since 2004, Professor Bhomik has moved to Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. The study of gender as a field also emerged in the 1960s and 1970s in the department. The department also has been producing scholarly work on tribes, Dr. Indra Munshi, important writings on Dalit and marginalization by Dr. Jogdand and Dr. Ramesh Kamble. 
In the span of over nine decades, more than 250 PhD and MPhil dissertations have been completed in the department. The department played a leading role in the professionalization of sociology and anthropology in India. The Indian Sociological Society and its journal, Sociological Bulletin, owe their inception to the initiative of Professor Gurrier and his colleagues in the department. Long before the value of interdisciplinary research came to be widely acknowledged and emphasized, a number of interdisciplinary studies relating to the varied dimensions of Indian society were taken up by the department. I hope this presentation helped you understand the achievements of the Department of Sociology better. Thank you for watching the presentation.